Hey, welcome back to Crypto and Pirate. Alan, nice to see you again. I had a person ask me about buying some crypto and where to buy it at. They would want to get into it and uh, kind of try to be their own bank and try to have a supplemental income to go along with what they're doing. So my advice and to her, to y'all, so I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just kind of showing some opinions on some things that I've done. Do your own research. Take uh, responsibility for yourself, folks. But uh, I'll do what I can to kind of help out, show some things here. So I'm going to go over three uh, decentralized wallets where you can purchase crypto. That way you don't have to use an exchange and worry about buying your asset and not be able to get it out of there quick enough. Seems to be a lot of uh, networks are congested. People trying to escape the exchanges because as the uh, FTX debacle, dominoes keep falling and the possible tether. Uh, no one seems to know if that's going to come about or not anytime soon. But all that's kind of dangling in the air. So one of the first ones I'm going to go over is Arculus. They're a uh, very good and easy to set up, easy to use. Uh, I like it a lot. And they'll send you this card. It's a little card about the size of a credit card. It's, it'll have a some type of a chip in it that uh, they'll use that you have to put up in front of your phone or tablet in order to use your device. Without it, no, you or no one else can do anything. It will also, you'll have set up a biometric lock, your face or thumbprint. It'll, you'll set up a six digit code. And then your card, a you three way factor system. It's a pretty secure, yet still easy to use set up. And what's neat about it is it also, you can uh, purchase that uh, you can get on and They'll have a little page that you go to on the app, get your credit card out, and uh, buy whatever asset you want. Uh, they have right now, they're kind of limited on the uh, coins that you can choose from. Arculus hasn't been around too long, so they're still kind of setting up uh, different coins. Uh, and they're having to deal with, uh, the problem is not the coins, it's kind of the networks that some of these coins are based on. But uh, they've got a lot of the big ones, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, XRP, Quant. So they're, uh, I did send an email to them this morning, and they got back with me within an hour, customer support. And I was asking about some coins that I wanted to see on there, and uh, they said that uh, pretty soon they're going to have Stellar, XLM on there. So that's good. And... Uh, and the others they're going to put in the account that's uh, based on customers' uh, wants, reason why you don't see what you want to see on there. Like I said, I really enjoyed Arculus. Uh, like I said, the support rate, security, and the ease. So it's a good one there. Another one, of course, I've always spoken highly of is Exodus. You can also purchase through them as well. Since they're a decentralized wallet, remember, folks, you want uh, decentralized wallets. Your keys, your coins. That way they're not in exchange and uh, where it can be mismanaged by somebody claiming to be a genius and philanthropist and all that mess. Which is a bull. SBF and Mike Freeman. Freed. But, uh, Exodus, you can purchase through them and then uh, we'll go right on to your wallet easy to use as well quick uh, matter of fact i kind of i believe not keeping all your eggs in one basket so there's nothing against exodus i just uh, moving some stuff around uh, i moved some items from exodus over to arculus and uh, it was so fast it was just in a matter of seconds uh i copied the address from arculus went to exodus to send and by the time I got back to Arculus to check, items were already there. 
So I mean, we're talking three to five seconds. It was that fast. So uh, it also acts as, like I said, excellent customer support, easy to use. Uh, they have a lot, uh, like I said, about 260 plus crypto. Uh, and not everything's there, but they got a lot of the big ones. And also they're willing to talk. You got uh, different things you want to talk to them about, about getting additional coins on there. More welcome to hear and listen. And they're also they're busy, very easy to get with on Twitter. They'll uh, talk to you on Twitter pretty quickly as well. Another one I like, Trust Wallet. I've had them for a while now. Very good, and you can buy on there as well. Very good, trustful. They're I think they're owned by Binance now, wrong, but uh, usually they're just uh, mobile use only, phones and tablets. But now they have a browser extension where it basically just puts it onto the side of the computer as if you got a mobile phone attached to your screen. There. The only thing about Trust Wallet, and it's not their fault, these folks right here, Apple. They've got some serious issues. This man here, he might claim to be a philanthropist, but he does not like humanity. He does nothing to help. Uh, he's made everything difficult for companies to create apps to use on iOS. Uh, he wants this deal where it's like uh, some crazy stuff where he's wanting like 27, 30% of the take what they sell through third parties on those apps. That's why uh, Trust, they forced them to uh, do away with the app on Apple. I still have mine. I have a Apple phone, but the only thing I can do with it is use it for cold storage. I mean, it's a hot, excuse me, as a hot wallet. Uh, they've done away with Trust where you can use it, D apps access for decentralized finance and games and whatnot. But the, um, you can't, uh, NFTs, so forth. So if you want to use Trust, which is very good to use, uh, you don't have to get you an Android or use the mobile, uh, I mean, excuse me, use the desktop. But, uh, it's kind of a mess right there. Uh, here, Apple has gone to uh, block Coinbase Wallet's iOS app. Back on the deal about the blockchain transaction fees. So it's uh, Apple, I don't know if they're getting greedy or if they're being used as a tool by other groups to try to control the use and buy of cryptocurrency from uh, retail investors like us. So I wish that wasn't the case, but uh, it seems like just all the time. I mean, here he is. Apple actually uh, helped the Chinese government suppress their protest by doing away with some of the airdrop messaging they were using between each other, which uh, that says a lot right there about Apple. But as far as these, uh, these three that I know about, and I'm sure there are others out there that others might have better opinions of whatnot, but, uh, these ones to me, easy to use, and I'm going to keep using them. They're very secure, safe. I've had no problems personally yet, but like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just trying to hear to help people out. So, uh, thank you and, uh, Please keep watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and check out on Twitter at uh, Crip Empowerment. Thanks so much and see you later. Bye.